Hi guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So I am adjusting the camera. Um, I have got all kinds of stuff. I've been playing all morning um, since I got up. I actually had a really rough night and had to go back to bed. And when I got up, I was like, okay, I don't know if I can do a video today. <clears throat> I usually do them in the morning. It's already 1230. But I got so excited about what I was doing, I thought I gotta show you guys. So, what I've got here is a bunch of different mica powders. I've got some mica eyeshadows, and I've got some eyeshadows that have mica powder in it. I want to try those. Um, this morning, I was going through my stuff, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna look up things to do with mica powders because I found all of mine, and I don't have a ton, but I have enough that it made me go, hmm, maybe I should be playing with these more. And so. <clears throat> I had used them before to make a paste, but I'd never used them with certain mediums. And so I watched a, a video this morning. Um, I'll have to go back into my videos and link it. I didn't even, it was such a, it was a person I've never seen before. I can't remember her name. I apologize. I will link her video below. She's got all kinds of ideas. I did do something she didn't do, and I actually like it better than some of the things that we used in her video. Um, what I have here is the Wax Clear Finishing Wax, and you can get this one at, at Walmart. Um, I bought this eons ago and haven't used it because, I don't know, I just bought it because it's there, and I thought, well, I, I should try it. <clears throat> it seals and protects painted surfaces, and you can use on top of chalk and a tinted wax. It's non-toxic and water-based. Um, like I said, you can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, too, or Joann's, you know, but... I got mine there and then what else I have is my clear texture gesso and then I have my heavy gesso and out of the three I really liked the result of the wax so I've brought along some different papers to give you know to see what kind of result we get probably if you use a thicker paper of course you're gonna get uh, you know a stronger hold but I went ahead and I had decorated <coughs> I had um, not decoupaged but I had put napkin on this card and distressed it and stuff and I used the gold to just darken but give it some you know some gold through it and I really like the result you know um, it's a little bit different than my gold stick it's not quite as bright it's more dingy it's more grungy and then I also used it on just some I had also put that napkin on there I wanted to see what kind of result I would get this was with the gesso okay um and it's much grainier but you could paint on top of that of course and you can do all kinds of stuff with it you can still because it's clear gesso you can still see through the um to the napkin pretty much i did not cover this completely i just kind of streaked it to give it that you know silver look this one i actually covered this was with the wax and the fun thing let's see if it'll do it on this paper the fun thing that the wax will do when you take a dry lint-free cloth and you you go over it and you can do this when it's wet according to the directions but you can also do it when it's dry it will cause it will cause like a sheen to take place um, I can see it happening from my angle but I don't know if you guys can but yeah it causes like this really cool sheen and I was thinking, you know, this would be fun to do as a background. You could use the gesso if you wanted to paint on something that wouldn't, you know, handle water or whatever. Um, but it also is a cheaper way to uh, create kind of some multicolored uh, coverings for your background that you can then come back on and do some stuff on top of. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to try it with you guys and see what you thought. So the ones I've made so far, and I decided I better jump on camera before I made too much stuff and, and then didn't show you guys. This is the heavy gesso, and I have this lavender pigment right here, and as you can see, it didn't keep, I'm making sure, it didn't really keep necessarily the sheen. I mean, it's there some, but it did make the gesso lavender colored, and so this would be really handy in an art journal or in any type of mixed media you know if you're gonna do it with stencil and go over it <clears throat> which we might do if I can get to that point 
<laughs> today but that's that's what that color was made from now here is let's see did I make I don't think I actually I did it on a plate um, here is the gesso the clear gesso with the gold in it now this is the gold so you can see it's a very nice very nice gold um, it kind of downplays in the um, in the gesso a little bit loses some of its look however when you paint it on what you would get is a gold gesso to paint on top of and it's that's just on a paper plate you know so I don't know if you can buy gold gesso I haven't looked for it so I was thinking if you wanted to use different micas you could make your own color gesso which if they do make them in different colors that's neither here nor there I'm thinking it's cheaper in the long run maybe to make your own if you have eyeshadows and with mica powders and stuff in it let me grab <clears throat> I've got two more little empty um, containers here I'm gonna use because I'm gonna make some stuff with you guys now this is the gold with the wax and it hangs on to its color and it is very pretty and it goes on very nice too if you can see see that the difference so yeah I'm I like this better and then once it's like I said you can even it said you can go over it when it's wet now see it's wiping out it. maybe it's because it's the place it's on but what I did was I waited for it to dry and then I went over it and you could totally see a difference I mean immediately it was very cool it gave you that sheen look and so yeah I like the wax okay so I'm gonna go ahead and before this dries wipe this a little bit I'm just using okay what I have like I said I have heavy gesso I have clear texture gesso I have wax clear wax and then I have a bunch of different colored I even have some eyeshadows I want to give a try because they're mica based they have mica in them and I'm hoping they'll work now these two eyeshadows very old eyeshadows I've had them forever this is still my favorite color eyeshadow but I'm gonna use it anyway um, they're all mica so these are just mica powders you know I wore mica powder eyeshadow forever and didn't even realize that it was something that I could use in art <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> I've been using it since I was a kid. So I want to try and do something. I have this eyeshadow here. And this looks like it's mica based, right? Like it's got more mica in it. So I wanted to, I just wanted to push some out onto the plate. And this is, of course, you can see it's like a teal. Okay, and then I was going to pour a little bit of this wax. Now I'm going to have to get some more of this wax because it is so cool. I liked it I was really happy about that you know me always trying to find new ways to do backgrounds and I'm only gonna just make a touch here of it I didn't seem to need you know a whole lot and then I just stirred it together I have no idea if this is gonna work this is the first time I've tried it with the the outright eyeshadow out of a you know looks like it's it's working I think I think it is and what I'm gonna do real quick I should have done this in the first but yeah it looks like it's working I'm gonna cut these down into like journal card size okay even as possible. You know I'll be trimming them up in a minute. And we're just going to try the different things on the different papers and see what we come up with. And I didn't use any specific paintbrush. I haven't. I used, I just grabbed my, my paintbrush. It's an all-purpose kind. I got it at Walmart. Um, it's not even a flat one it's a slant one I just wanted to give 
it a try. So first I'm gonna put it on the white paper. Let's see what it does. Let's see if I made enough to cover it. I think I did. I should probably put one of my little glue pages down so I don't get it all over my mat. Not that it's not already stained. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, one thing I would say is I would probably make sure that I, um, what do you call it? Um, pumice, or is it pumice? Get a pump, like not a pumice stone, but maybe a spoon even, and just make sure, I'm gonna go in and grab some of this, and just make sure that I get all the bumps out of my eyeshadow. But that is a really, really pretty color. And see, I'm just gonna let this dry, and then when it's done drying, I'm gonna go back in and uh, I'm gonna buff it, okay? And it dries, it says on the bottle, give it 24 hours. I think that's when you're going on top. I'm probably getting that all in there on a, in a little bit, not bad. Um, I'm just excited, can you tell? Um, I think what they're talking about is, you know, when you're using it on top of wood or metal or whatever, you know, uh, because on the paper, it's so porous. I think it just pretty much seems to sink in because it's dry and I'm rubbing on it and it's not coming off, you know. So yeah, this is really, I like this. And that's just my Almay eyeshadow, okay? That gave, and it, it came out really nice. And now once it dries, if it does what it did before, I'm gonna see, um, I'm reaching in here to clean this. I shouldn't have done that, just to get that out right there. It's just on the edge. Um, anyway. What I did before when I buffed it, it was beautiful. So here, I'll show you guys. I just, I tested it on this paper and it didn't look, let me see if you can see, yeah. That sheen came after I buffed it. Like it picked up and it didn't rub off. It's not rubbing off. So I know there'll be those that ask. This wax is actually a sealant of itself. So I'm thinking if we use it with the mica powder, it will seal things on right away. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. The eyeshadow thing worked. It's another eyeshadow miracle. <laughs> We're going to find things to use our old eyeshadows with again. Yay. I like using them. They're just sitting there doing nothing for me. Okay, I am going through so many dry wipes, but that's okay. Okay, this, let's see. One of these, these colors are just, ugh, look at that. So pretty. Let's do this one just for fun. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna smarten up here. I don't think that'll come up, but I don't want it to mix really, at least not the teal and the burgundy. So I'm gonna wipe this. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay, because that paper plate's slick. So see how pretty that is? And you can almost tell it's a wax. You can see it, but it, but it doesn't, it's not coming off on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and get me some more of this. <laughs> oh yes, I am. Oh, wait, not that one. Well, this one's really pretty too, look. Mm, gorgeous. Yes, I love my eyeshadows. Let's see, and then I have this green. Oh, this green is just, oh, look at, let's do the green. That is so pretty. I just really want to see what it'll look like. Now I'm thinking if I use this, let's see. Probably need some more. Now this might have, I don't know for sure, but it might have too much glitter in it these eyeshadows. It's possible. I don't know. We shall see if the Can you guys see what I'm doing there? I'm just taking my palette knife that I use with my oil paints all the time. Okay. I don't know. We're going to try it, you guys. 
drum roll, please. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm looking over here to see if I have a better brush than this one. I don't know if this is a better brush, but it's a different shape. Let's see. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, this is... That eyeshadow has way too much... Look at that. It's just grainy. It's not, it's not picking up. So we have our answer. These eyeshadows do not work. All right. That's a bummer, but at least that one doesn't. That one is pretty glittery. Let's see. Is this one... <laughs> I'm just looking here. Uh, that's going to be... Nah. I'll, you know me. Probably later I'll try it when I get a bigger thing of wax just to see, but... I don't think it'll work. Now these two I know for sure are mica. So they should work just fine. I hope, I hope. That's a bummer because that green is gorgeous. I mean, it could be that maybe I just didn't use enough wax. You know? That's why, like, I'm spreading it now with my hand and it's, it doesn't feel grainy. And it's kind of, see, it's starting to spread out. So I'm going to try it again later with some more wax and see what it'll do. But for right now, we are not going to play with that one. If I figure out that it does better, I'll let you guys know. If using more wax worked better, I'll give you an update. <laughs> but let's try the real... And look at, but the, look at this one. It's drying now, and it's... Oh, it's just... Oops, did I just get some green on there? Probably. It's so pretty. Okay. Um, now let's try. I'm going to... Ooh, that's a lot, T. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, Got to get more wipes. <laughs> I'm going through them. All right, now... Oh, my chair stuck. Come on now. So how's everybody doing today? It's Saturday. I didn't even say uh, happy craft with me day, but happy craft with me day. <laughs> I thought this would kind of be a fun craft with me. You know, test it out. I don't know. This one's so pretty on the eye, but I'm not sure what it's going to do with this. We'll see, right? It's almost a... It's probably way too much. Um, it's this color is like a taupe on the eye and I was thinking when I was looking at it earlier it's almost like a um, what do you call it vintage photo <laughs> once it would be on the paper I was thinking it might kind of have but with a sheer or like a shine you know that mica shine we'll see it's not oh there we go I can see it it's it's there there it is there it is I mean it's it's definitely mica I wonder how it would look on top of the buff. Let's give that a try. Okay. And I am just literally painting it on. Oh, it's very pretty from here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. But it's just kind of using these mediums and then creating your own color. And the other thing she did, which I haven't tried, but I'm going to try, is she made her own mica spray. Um, she was showing how to make your own mica spray, and that was very cool because it was just water and mica powder in a spray bottle. And she used it, and it worked beautiful. And she even kind of used it doing some stuff almost like um, watercolor type things. You know, I mean, for our watercolorists, you guys, um, you'll love it. You'll love it. So I will link her video at the bottom in the in the description, okay? And that way you can see her stuff, and maybe it'll skip you over to other videos, and you can just get inspired all day long. So here's this one. Now, it'd probably be even prettier on a white or a black, but, yeah, it's got that. It's the buff, but I like it. It's It's pretty. I am going to try it real quick because I've got more left. I'm going to put it on a black, okay? Let me flip this. Okay, there we go. Just to see 
what it'll do. It goes on super easy too. And relatively, I mean, you know, relatively smooth, I think. As far as like if you were having paint lines, you know, and when you paint, I mean, it's covering nice. And it's kind of got, because it's a sealant, it's kind of got that sheer look to it. Oh, I like this. This is pretty. Look, you guys. So pretty. It'll just be a fun way to start your background. This is just a beginning. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a taupe or a, yeah, it's a taupe. So now we have that one and that's on the black. Now this one's starting to dry and look at it. It's almost made that buff paper a coppery taupe color. Okay. Let's go for another one. This is so fun. I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun. I love when I discover ways to utilize my tools. <clears throat> now, we're going to do this light. It's a very pale, oh, very pale frosty pink. So, I'm going to run out of wax before I run out of mica. I can tell you that much. Okay. I'm going to get my knife again and just pick some of this out. Okay. Yeah, I got this eyeshadow. I do not remember the store. It was, this, it was a clothing store that sold back in the uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I think this was late 90s. Um, it was a clothing shop that I used to go to and they would they had all these makeups you know might have been the Avenue you girls remember the Avenue um, it could have been them I'm not sure though but yeah you can still pick them up at so Sephora and Ulta and all that and you can also just order them online like these mica powders I got from um, oh what's that one it takes forever to get anything from not wish Pam uses it a lot. We hear Pam talk about it. Darn it, I can't think of the name. Somebody put it in, <laughs> if I can't think of it before the video ends, somebody put it in the description for me, okay? Oh, I picked up some of those other colors. Ooh, look at that. It did pick it up. But look at that pink. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's, I can see it in the camera, but it, I don't know if you can make out the color as well as I can. It's very, very pretty. So now, Let's do it on a white. Oh, that's got some brown on it from our other stuff here. I'm so excited. I'm like putting things where I shouldn't. So just bear with me for a second. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Wiping my knife, my palette knife off there. Okay. Now, and it seems the wax just kind of wipes right out of my brush, too, I noticed. It's not really... And hopefully I made enough, because I went... Oh, that is so pretty. For all those um, pink eyeshadow girls at one time who loved that beautiful, beautiful finish. Here you go. My eyes just got too old to wear it, so... <laughs> <laughs> made my wrinkles stand out. <laughs> you all know what I mean. There we go. Plus, it just didn't look good on a girl my age anymore, you know. My mom used to say, Tara, honey, now you get to a certain age where makeup, you got to be careful how you wear makeup. She was a cosmetologist. Um, she was many things, but that was one of her careers. And she used to always tell me now, enjoy these years you can wear it because you get to a certain point where you can't get away with it. It makes you actually look older. And boy, was she right. If we do our eyeshadow and our eye makeup wrong, it makes us girls look way older than we actually are sometimes. Okay. I'm just going to hold this corner over here. I'm going to use this card as a back... Oh, dear honey. As a backdrop. Because I really, really like it. I absolutely love this wax. I'm so glad I played with it. 
this is kind of like the gelatos I hadn't played with them right you know and I'm sure if you use certain types of paper you know you're gonna get different effects so like I'm just using cardstock right now I mean if I were to use some photo paper or I were to use some Yupo paper or even some really heavy or some watercolor you never know you know so try everything but look 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 guys look look it's pretty oh anyway <laughs> so now I want to put some on black that that color I would like to make one with black for my for my gentle card and I have so much here that I can Oh, I really, really like that. I could just get the card to quit moving. I'd get straight lines. I guess I could do like my little tape, not tape, but my little uh, sticky dots and put it under the bottoms. Sometimes those pull my paper, like when I use them on certain things, they pull. So I don't know if I trust them on this. Oh, praise the Lord. These are beautiful. I like these so much. Thank you, Lord, for helping me to learn new ways to use my products. This would have been a good use your, use your stash, uh, save your cash, use your stash. Or stash your cash. I have it written one way, and I say it another sometimes, and I'm like, okay, which one is it? <laughs> I forget now. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. Um... I was thinking this would have been, you know, because a lot of us have mica powder, I'm sure, and just haven't used it. Like we had, I've had a lot of you comment that you had gelatos and just hadn't used them. So that's on the black. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I'm going to let these guys dry and sit them somewhere safe. And then I'm going to come back on that first one we did. Oh, no, I had it on my finger. Oh, 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 oh. Wipe off. Oh, no. Well, it's kind of pretty, actually. Anyway, <laughs> shoot. Oh, Tara. Okay, I have it all over me. Hold on one second. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I have grabbed a clean dry wipe, and I do have a little bit of pink right through there, but it's okay. Now, what I wanted you to see, and I hope it, let me, I'm going to try to do this on my hand. See the difference? This is what I just rubbed on this. Watch. Look at that. And it, it'll come up on that, but after I did this on the other one, it didn't come up anymore. So you're going to buff this out and give it a really pretty sheen. So let's say that you have mica powders, okay? And you, you can get this. This is like this little bottle. It's like four dollars or something four ninety nine something like that of course with Walmart they may have priced it up recently but anyway they have it in the big bottle too if you want to get it you know see it's getting lighter and lighter because that's a sealant it's a finishing wax Now what you can do is you can glue this to a uh, cardstock, you know, or use this as a backer for a um, journal card that you've already created, or you can paint on top of it. Hey, you know what? Let's try something. I wanted to try. I am going to use some archival ink, okay, and... I'm just going to grab my favorite little stamp here that I always use for everything. I think I'll use the smaller one of it. <clears throat> okay. And I am going to do a dark blue because I think that will contrast pretty against that teal color. Get it nice and juicy. Well, as good as I can, my ink pad's getting a little old. Okay. And then I'm just going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I'll just do it from the bottom, right here, and I'm going to press. 
Let's see what we get. I, I was thinking this before I started the video that I wanted to try stamping on top of it. I'd also like to try some embossing. There you go. So now we have a stamp, and because it's archival ink, it's not going to come up. Okay. Now, because it's wax, let's try it. Let's see what it does. We're going to test it before we do it. I was going to say we can probably emboss on it, but because it's wax, you never know. It might melt or I don't know. Let's look. Let's see how it responds to the heat tool. Sorry for the loud noise, guys. Seems to be okay. I'm not seeing it bubble. It's not losing its shine. Okay. It did change a little bit right where I was concentrating it. But not anything that I would worry about. Now that the heat tool is hot, let's see. Okay, and let me look. Nope, it seems fine. So there's there's our answer. You can emboss. You can stamp. It's sticking. It's not coming up. Okay, the ink. We're good. Yay! And I like that. It looks really it looks really cool so that's that one ready to play with ready to go um let's see how we're doing on oh, this one let's see if it now if this one because right now it's it looks okay but it looks kind of uh what do you call it um dull so let's see oh i can see it moving already look at this Look at that. And this paper's poor. It's not coming up. Not really. So, yeah. So, we're going to... Oh, that's pretty. Oh, can you guys see this? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I am very stoked about this. I hope you are, too. Don't go running out and buying stuff if you don't have it. But if you guys have it, I mean, you can, of course. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I didn't do this so you go spend money. But I just wanted to try it because I had all this stuff and I, I wasn't using it, you know. And I think probably there's a few of you out there that have it too and just haven't used it. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That's the beginning and that's the end. Oh, I love that so much. You know me and anything that has a sheen or looks like it's going to be gold or, you know, I'm crazy about it. Now this one's drying. Let me see if it's dry enough. Which one did I do? To? I did this one first. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's the eyeshadow I know and love. And it's not coming. Look at, it's not really raising up at all. Oh, guys, I am in love with this. I love it. I I know there's some of you out there who do, too. Hey, Laura, I bet you're loving it. I know you like your metallics. Oh, goodness. All right. Now well, let's try. Is this one dry enough? Seems to be. Now, this is the one that was more streaky, but... Oops, don't bend this paper. Tara Renee. Yes, that's my middle name. Okay. Oh. You know what I love is the streaks. It, it looks so cool. And as you can tell now, I didn't stay on pause for but a couple minutes. So it, we've not been drying these very long. We're only 35 minutes into the video. So we're like 40 minutes. I, I don't even think I was off for five to go wash my hands. So yeah, look at that. So we're talking less than 10 10 minutes and you've got this amazing background and now this one's ready for you know to be I mean unless you like like fun this framing and weird kind of you know that we got we picked up but yeah there's our pieces oh my goodness they're so cool so anyway guys 
that is my fun try for the day. I'm thinking since it's still so early, we could decorate. Let's see this now. Uh oh, look at this green. You know, I had to try. Now, if I can get that to go on smoother, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try to get this to work because it's too pretty. That is so beautiful. And these two other colors are phenomenal. So, yeah, I can't not try. So, what I'm going to do, just so you guys know, I'm probably going to go to Walmart and buy me some more of um, these these little containers because I really like them. Oh, you know what we could try? We're going to try the um, the heavy gesso with a stencil. I said I might do that if I had time. Oh, I forgot. I have this red, too. That one would look really cool. Okay, let's grab a stencil. Um, let's do something... Let's do one of these guys. These are handy. They're right here. Let's see, I got these at Walmart. Easy, easy. And I'm going to do this on the back side of this paper. And um, I'm going to use my palette knife to do it. I could also, I have a piece of credit card that I can also use for it, but it's this one. Okay, so this is the purple. Okay, in the heavy gesso. Okay. And I'm sure you guys have all seen Tina and you've all seen different people do this. This is not recreating the wheel at all. The only difference is for me, I've never used a colored heavy gesso like this. So. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention to you guys on our altered book, we had done that glued, uh, the cardstock tip in. So I wanted you to know mine did stay. It's worked really well. It's in there. It's in there good. Um, I went back in and made sure I did one last little bit of glue on that corner that was wanting to raise up. But um, yeah, I woke up this morning. I had left the book. Uh, I had left it open for a little while after we ended our, our session and then I um I went back in and closed it before I went to bed because I felt like it was dry enough and I wanted it to seal and yeah it worked really nice in case you were wondering oh my goodness look how pretty oh look guys it's raised I mean it's not super raised but it's raised oh it's so pretty can you see that can, can you guys see that it's not shining for you for me it's not a sheen shine it's like um it's just kind of like a there we go it kind of hits it right there it's kind of just a frosty lavender you know it's not super like because the gesso what i see in the gesso is it dulls the mica okay but it doesn't stop the color so i am super excited about this i am so excited um, I wanted to mention we are going to be doing some distress uh, sprays and some distress ink I had or, or stain I had already had. But my uh, my and your friend Deanne um, blessed me with. She's in our family. She blessed me so much this week. Um, I was crying when I saw what she sent me a happy mail. I I had received a gift. Uh, you know, I've received a couple of beautiful, wonderful gifts that I will never, ever use in anything from other folks on here. Um, but this was a Happy Mail with supplies in it, and um, I have never received a, a Happy Mail like this. So, Deanne, I just want to publicly say that you are an amazingly generous and wonderful woman, and I appreciate you so much. And I'm very, very grateful to have friends like you and all of you because you guys, you make me feel better every day. You make me feel better. Um, I feel stronger when I have you guys to talk to. And I know the Lord has put you in my life because I was very lonely um, here at home all day. 
and not being able to go out and do the work I used to do driving, you know, 500 miles a day, I, I just can't do that anymore. And so having all of you with me while I, I do this has made all the difference. And she sent me some of the most beautiful things. And um, I just want to say thank you, sweetheart, very, very, very much. And so I'm going to be doing a video here real soon with the oxide sprays and we're going to do some fun stuff with those. Um, and I, I've just been experimenting. I'm just playing with things. So I'm looking at this and the reason it made me think of it is I'm looking at this thinking that this will be a really fun mixed media thing to do with the heavy gesso and then the sprays and some paints and you know and try to experiment and explore like I'm totally afraid to do up until I met all of you so anyway um, I hope you guys have fun today I hope you try all of this please let me know if you do please 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 because I love hearing about your experiments and I love seeing pictures so if you're not a member of our Facebook group it is Creatives Inspired Corner. There is a link on the front page of the channel. There's a link in the About section of the channel. And um, you can look me up on Facebook. It's Tara Strahan, S-T-R-A-H-A-N. Oh, and Tara is T-E-R-R-A. Not <laughs> Just like, it's Tara's take. <laughs> it's not T-A-R-A. Um, but yeah, seriously, I want to see your work. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And... Um, Everybody else loves seeing it too. It inspires, we inspire each other to try new things and to make additions to the new things we try and even make them not maybe better, but make them different, you know? It's like I watched this lady's video and I went a step further and tried the wax and it works even better. So, I mean, you know, it just, you just never know what you're gonna, what you're gonna learn from one another. So please, please be a part of our family join in and have a good time because we're having fun. I mean, this is the best. This is the best fun is crafting and creating and, and becoming the artist that you are within, you know, really letting that person out onto the paper or the media medium that you choose. So anyway, I love all of you. I thank God for you every day. I bless you and I pray that you'll have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Bye.